on everybody? It is me, the one and only Mikey Masker, and I'm back at it again with another Funko Pop unboxing and review. And this time I'm continuing with the Resident Evil Funko Pops. Right here, I got the liquor. Yes, the liquor. I <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm weird. Uh, yes, uh, this finally came in. They were slowly coming in at GameStop. We were slowly getting one by one at a time. And this one is the most recent one that came in at the GameStop that I go to. I have been looking for the rest of these. I still haven't found them yet, but I'm hoping that they come in soon because I really, really want to get the other ones. I'm missing uh, Leon and Jill and Nemesis. And once I get those, I am pretty much done. I will have all of these, the whole set. Like I said, I was going to get. I'm still kind of debating on if I should still get that glow in the dark tyrant. I'm probably not because I'm happy with just getting the regular one from the Hot Topic, uh, you know, the Hot Topic exclusive one. I'm still just happy with just getting that one. But I mean, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe like in the future, I might actually do get it when I see it. I may just see it, and it's just like one of those little impulse buys, which I just buy just to buy it. But um. Yeah, definitely check it out. Let's see what this thing is all about. The liquor. Who remembers that scene in the uh, very first Resident Evil movie? You know, I mean, those movies weren't that great. But definitely, like, who remembers when they fought him on that train at the end? That was actually pretty cool. I, at that time, I had never played any of the games because in my family, I was definitely more of a... Well, my family was definitely more of a Nintendo, like, kind of people family and we didn't really have PlayStation and I don't think Xbox was out at that time so yeah I know no Xbox wasn't out at that time too when the first Resident Evil movie came out I don't think so uh, it could be wrong if I'm wrong then I mean don't bash me for it I mean I could be making an honest mistake but uh, definitely I never got a chance to play any of these games until I think Resident Evil 4 came out on uh, GameCube which I was able to play it on there but um I never saw any of the other stuff, so seeing the movies was actually really awesome to me, and I know that a lot of people hate them, and after years of actually playing the games, finally, I kind of don't like the movies that much either, although I do own all of them, but I still just buy them because it's Resident Evil. But anyways, I am rambling on. Let's just go ahead and do the freaking unboxing and take a good look at this liquor because he looks so awesome. Look at the tongue right there. Hit that like button if you can touch your nose with your tongue. <laughs> yeah, I'm really not good at that, but I just did it just for the fun of it. But anyways, even if you can't do it, you know, hit that like button too. Okay, everybody, so here is the box. As you can see, we have Pop Games Resident Evil number 158 within that Umbrella Corporation logo right there. I still love that. I think that's awesome. This is the liquor. This is not an exclusive Funko Pop, so therefore you can actually find this pretty much anywhere where Funko Pops are sold from your regular GameStops, your Hot Topics, which those are pretty much uh, where the exclusives are, but you know, you can also find the regular ones over there. You can go find them at Walmart, Target, wherever you can find Funko Pops, you will be able to find this. We got liquor right here on the side. And let's go ahead and take a look on the side of the box. As you see, we got Pop Games. We have the pop form of the liquor right there with number 158 right there with that awesome background. I still really dig that background a lot. Just Raccoon City right there up in flames and the blood marks right here, the blood splatters. Really awesome. Here is the back of the box. And, of course, like y'all have already seen before, if you've seen these videos, which if you haven't seen my other ones, uh, I will definitely put a link to them in the description down below. I have already done videos on the 6-inch Tyrant and Hunter, so you already know who's all in this set. Jill Valentine, Leon S. Kennedy, Nemesis, Liquor, the Tyrant, which is a 6-inch Hot Topic exclusive, and the Hunter, which is a 6-inch GameStop exclusive. Then we got the other side of the box, no error right here, and we have a brain pretty much right there looking at us or just kind of just laying there. So, anyways, let's go ahead, open up this box, get a real good look at what the liquor looks like. So here he is out of the box, and I have to say this thing looks awesome. From right here in the head, his teeth, the tongue that is sticking out so much, the way that they have his body looking like that. It just looks freaking amazing. His skin just hanging off right here while you see the inner part of him, of his body right there. That looks awesome. Very, very amazing. This one is 
a really, really awesome Funko Pop. Look at that side. Oh my God. The knee you can see right there. That looks amazing. Man, this is awesome. I love how you can actually see right here in his tongue how it actually goes out a little bit further than actually being attached to the face. It is actually going out, sticking out. So that is definitely a really big plus right there. Here's the back. Look at the spine. You can see the spine right there. Really, really awesome. I'm really digging this Funko Pop. This one looks freaking amazing. I'm so happy. And here is the other side. Really, really awesome looking Funko Pop. I dig this one 110%. Probably like my favorite one so far in this set now. Really happy with it. Okay, everybody, so what did you think about the Resident Evil Liquor Funko Pop? You heard what I had to say, and I actually really like this one. I enjoyed actually doing the review on this, taking it out of the box and letting you all see it. I think this one is actually really awesome. So far, y'all know that I only have three of these Funko Pops from the Resident Evil line, and I have to admit, although the other two are six inches, and I really do like those ones, this one so far is my favorite one. It, I don't know why, it just is. I mean, it looks really good. There's no, like, uh, messed up paint jobs. I couldn't, I don't know why I couldn't get that out of there. But yeah, there's no messed up paint jobs on here. It was actually really awesome looking. I love the way that the tongue just stuck out on there instead of being attached to the face, which sometimes, you know, you would get something like that where it would actually, like, probably go into the side and still be attached to, like, the face. But this one actually held its own and just kind of went out a little bit further, which I like. I'm doing these weird hands movements yeah I don't know so uh but yeah anyways uh yeah I really like this one I love how he's pretty much just kind of there like a dog um it's really awesome looking I love the way that they actually showed his spine on the back and I mean it was just an awesome Funko Pop his teeth are awesome I love seeing the teeth on here and his tongue just coming out of the teeth and all that stuff really really great Funko Pop very happy that I got this one I'm loving the whole line I'm not sure if this one's going to be my actual favorite one out of the whole set for some reason and I actually think that Nemesis may be the one that beats all of them. But we will find out in the future whenever I get that one or the other two. Like I said, I'm still missing Jill Valentine, Leon S. Kennedy, and Nemesis. So those could be coming in any day. I don't know when, but I will get them and you will see reviews on these. But anyways, if you haven't seen my other reviews on the Tyrant and Hunter, definitely go check those out because I actually really enjoyed those Funko Pops too. Not as much as this one though but they were actually really fun and awesome to look at. Anyways, I'm Mikey Masker. Thank you all for taking the time out of the day to watch this video. It truly means a lot to me. So definitely in the comments, let me know what you think about this Funko Pop. Let me know if you got it. Let me know if you plan on getting it. And let me know if you just plan on getting only like a few of them. Let me know which ones you're going to get. And also, why don't you tell me which ones that you would actually like to see in the future if they were to come out with a wave two of these Funko Pops. So I would actually be very interested in finding out what y'all want to see get made from the Resident Evil line. I had somebody actually tell me uh, if they would come out with an Alice one. You know, the chick from uh, the Resident Evil movies. I mean, I actually do believe that they could make one for her only because of the next movie that's coming out. The last movie. What is it? Final chapter? Only because of that coming out, I actually can see them actually making one for that movie because it seems that when some movies are coming out now, it seems that they want to put the Funko Pops out before the movies are released. They did that with the Doctor Strange one and with some of the Marvel ones. So I can actually see like a surprised Resident Evil Alice one coming out. So you never know. Who knows? I don't know. It could happen. But anyways, let me know who you want to see get made in a Funko 
pop version from Resident Evil. Anyways, I'm rambling on. Let me go ahead and get y'all out of here because this video is probably, I don't know how long. I hope it's not that long. But like I said, thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate that y'all took the time out of the day to watch this video. I'm Mikey Masker. If you could just punch that like button and subscribe, that would be really awesome. And I'm out of here. Peace. Ah!